Hi Capricorn, welcome back. This is your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for January 2022, 23 for love. Capricorn for love, January 2023, Capricorn for love. Three cards. Thank you. We have Knight of Cups. Three cards for, yeah, you're at the bottom. <laughs> So I don't know, someone's coming in to give you a love offer this month or something, Capricorn. Your cards are jumpy. Nine of Swords. Yeah, we do. Okay, some of you guys could have already met a soulmate or someone new is coming in. I'm hearing new. So for some of you guys, it is a past person, but a lot of you guys are getting new people. Oh, that's nice, huh? Okay, so Capricorn. One more card for Capricorn. January 2023, Summer Rising Venus. One more card. Oh, they gave me. Look at this. That's cute, Capricorn. We have four of pinnacles, two of cups again. So someone from your past definitely is showing up. What's this card back here? Okay, yeah, someone from your past don't want you to move forward, okay? It is sideways, so I'm going to leave it that way. Someone from your past do not want you moving forward. Okay, is someone you could have dated or had a really serious connection with or a serious bond with, okay? Two of Cups, Four of Pentacles. So we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Yeah, and the Eight of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It's crossing these two cards then when it came out. Uh, they all came out together, but it is sideways, so I'm leaving it that way, okay, guys? The bottom of the uh, deck, you guys have the strength, Capricorn. So, um, this is Leo's energy, also can be Virgo. Take it as a apply. So, strength card, okay? I feel like um, anything that you have going on this month, like any bad habits, I've been feeling that for you, Capricorn, anyway, even in December. Any kind of bad habits or addictions you have, you're really taming that right now, okay? So, you know, you're not letting it get the best of you. You're not letting it control you. You're taming that on your own, okay? So that's really what I'm seeing again. Same energy coming out for you, Capricorn. Very strong energy as well. So that's what we have. All right, so here we have the Knight of Cups. Um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So that's why I'm saying someone is thinking about it. If they don't do it this month, they're thinking about coming in, giving you an offer. Could be a water sign, doesn't have to be, but a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Okay, they are taking movement towards you at the moment. Um, definitely trying to come to where they know you are, okay? So if they know anything about you, where you hang out at, where you live at, where you work at, they you might, you know, be seeing them trying to incorporate themselves into your spaces or your areas, okay? Um, if they know what you like to do, if you like to go to the movies or something, I just keep hearing, like, um, they're trying to go where you are, okay, or be where you're at. So if they know what you like to do, so they already know you, they know what you like to do, they're trying to be there too, okay? That's what I'm getting, okay? It is tearing someone up though, okay? Someone is losing sleep. Nine of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. It's Gemini's energy, Gemini. So strong Gemini here, Leo, Virgo, and water. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. We do have Earth with the Four of Pentacles. So with the Nine of Swords, someone's losing sleep, anxiety written. Um, I feel like this person don't know what to say to you. Um, maybe you guys haven't talked in a long time, but someone does not know what to say is really what I'm getting. I'm getting this like blah, like, um, uh, you know, like they don't know what to say. <laughs> okay. It's being amplified again like they don't know what to say like they're speechless they, i mean like if they were to show up in front of you they might freeze i mean they might take off i don't know like this person i'm getting is very terrified i mean they're losing sleep at night um it shouldn't be that hard to communicate okay um they want to communicate their love to you though definitely especially with the knight of cups out in the spread and two of cups so you see what i'm saying Knight of Cups, Nine of Swords, Two of Cups. This person in the past could also feel like they messed up the connection as well. All right. And it, you guys could be soulmates, twin flames, however it resonates with you. Okay. But um, they feel like they messed up. They could be embarrassed or ashamed as well. I'm getting. Yeah. 
because um, some of them could see their patterns in the past it wasn't accurate like you know they were just moving the wrong way doing the wrong things i'm hearing a, a, a lot of emphasis on words okay so maybe they said the wrong thing or they it's just their wording maybe the way they worded things made made you feel a certain way or something like that but whoever this person is they are getting up the strength to come talk to you Capricorn, okay, so like I said, very strong water energy though. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, they do love you. There's a lot of feelings here is what I see. And this person from your past, they don't want to let you go, okay? Eight of Swords, um, well, I was saying reverse, okay? So you may have tried to escape this person or something like that. You know, like you tried to break up with them or something. I feel like this person is hard to break up with or get rid of. Uh, Eight of Swords right now at the moment is sideways, so it's letting me know it's active. So you're um, at the moment trying to break free of this connection. For some of you guys, you're not in the Eight of Swords no more. I do see that because I did mess up and say Eight of Swords reverse. So that's what I'm saying. For some of you guys, you guys did break free from this uh, kind of toxic connection. And for others of you guys, you're in the process of breaking free at the moment. Okay, but this person is serious about holding on to you, especially with them coming out. Yeah, the, I'm hearing stingy. <laughs> okay, so maybe this person's a little stingy. Let's see what they want to tell you guys, all right? Oh, wow, right off the bat, let's see. Any messages? Look at that. You guys got a lot of people watching you. It says more people are watching you. Okay, Capricorn? And that's to be expected because you guys are Capricorn. Very sexy, alluring, mysterious. You guys draw in a lot of people anyway. Okay. Capricorn, please, for January 2023. That's something about sex room. What is it? Sex room? Keep it. Okay. More information, please, for Capricorn. Yeah, yep, someone is very much attracted. Okay, more? For Capricorn, January 2023. Yeah, someone's watching you, okay? Yeah, they're obsessed as well. Yeah. Capricorn? Okay, what do they want to say? It says, who are you with? There's one more card fell on the floor. It says, who are you with? We will split this in a minute. Okay, it says, lucky... No, ladybug luck. Okay, so someone could have luck in the month of January. So this is a love reading here for Capricorn. So some kind of luck this month. Party, party. So you could be at your own birthday party or having a birthday party or going to one, celebrating, thongs, panties. So um, either you guys like these kind of underwear or that's what you're wearing. Someone's wearing them. It says, consume my love. Take it as a apply, it may not resonate with everyone. Spectacular. So something spectacular this month. This is a rune. It's also a wealth symbol here showing up. Sexy back. So someone could like your um, the shape of your body. It says, I miss you and how it was. To so say unsuccessful in their life. Okay. Someone is woke spiritually. Okay, we have Delta Waves, Angelic Number 222 Hertz. Turn ideas into reality. Evaluate your personal growth. In laws. We have Sex Room. Okay, money. These are money stones. Jade, Emerald, Malachi, Aventure Stone. Cypher phase, Fireite, Moss Agate, Citrin, Sunstone, and Sipson. No, let me see here. No one compares to you. I am not okay with you moving on. No. 
And we just seen that right there with the four uh, sword. I mean, why is it four sword? So you, you're not talking to this person no more, okay? And they're not okay with it. It says, I'm not okay with you moving on. No. Okay, it says, I can love you right. Spider web. So when I wrote this, it's also pertaining to love, but also someone could be feeling trapped as well. So this trapped energy that was just coming out already, Capricorn, in your, your reading, this person does not want to let you go. They're pretty stuck on you. And um, they're also obsessed with you, Capricorn. Something's going to happen in the next one to three weeks. It says knock on your door. No, knocking on your door. So someone's going to be coming over to where you live. It says, you got the best sex I've ever had. It says, you blow my mind, baby. Ooh, a Capricorn. <laughs> it says, a lot of earth in your birth chart. Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. So you could be a Capricorn with just a lot of earth placements. You could be, yeah, I'm actually hearing Capricorn with Capricorn. So you could be a Capricorn, but your birth chart could also have a lot of Capricorn in it. Okay. Let's see. Sex goddess. Yeah. So that's what I was saying. You guys are coming off very enticing, very beautiful. A lot of people, remember I said we saw those eyes. So a lot of people do have their eye on you guys, whether you realize it or not. It's something about your beauty and your strength as well, okay? Because this is a strength card, a main energy for your love reading, uh, Capricorn for January 2023. Yeah, very beautiful. You guys are looking beautiful. And for guys, very handsome. Okay, one person spying on you. There we go. I feel it's more because we saw a whole lot of eyes. And that's why I'm saying, Capricorn, you're very captive right now. You're drawing in a lot of people. Alanis Connections. Okay, Capricorn, January 2023. Messages. Okay. It says, what you have spent in money is coming back to you right now. Times tenfold, times tenfold. So this money is coming back to you doubled or quadrupled. I wrote it four times. So everybody, it'll be different. But people are getting money back. Something's coming in the next four to six days. Capricorn, January 2023. It says, I love you so much. Hold on. What is this card? Sleeping well. Maybe you're sleeping well. I kept wanting to come out. It says, calling you a lot or constantly wanting your time, your attention, your love. Yeah, I'm telling you, someone is so obsessed with you, Capricorn. Uh, Capricorn, January 2023. Toyota. Okay, it says ancient aliens. So you guys might like a lot of history, a lot of past, um, very ancient stuff, or you're ancient. You could um, be an old soul, a wise soul, very much in your knowing, um, very knowledgeable. You could have a lot of ancient knowledge about this planet or other planets, other galaxies, something along those lines. Last one for Capricorn, January 2023. <laughs> Elvis, beautiful in the color green okay but some of you guys could be elvis fans or you like his style or you're attracted to what he you know his music or something along those lines okay capricorn a room for capricorn january 2023 love okay so this one means description so maybe you guys are looking i saw 1414 on the clock so maybe you guys are looking at something this month and how it is and um describing something or maybe something is being descriptive in your life like you're writing your own life story or something you're not letting people um have a control over you anymore okay so i don't know why i'm picking that up but description means something else then or maybe someone's breaking free of uh, mental control or something like that yeah um that's what i'm getting i will pull another rune because that may not resonate for everyone 
Capricorn, January 2023. Yeah, I since stand still. I feel like someone's healing too, okay? So if this is you having anxiety right now about not sleeping, so some of you guys got sleep problems, it's going to change for you guys. You will come out of this nine of sword energy. I actually feel like someone else is obsessing over you. They're doing it really heavy at night about you, okay? But I feel like you're sleeping well. If you're not, you're about to start sleeping well, okay? You guys are healing or doing something along those lines. So that's what I'm saying. This one means, this room means ice and stand still. So something is going to be coming to a halt. Or maybe um, you're not going to move fast in another relationship or something like that. You're going to just really take your time. And that's what I'm saying too. If there's any mental blockages, because Nine of Swords, Eight of Swords is out in the spread. So if there's a, some type of mental blockage that you couldn't see before or you needed clarity, I do feel you're going to get that, okay? So that's all I have for you, Capricorn. If it resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, take care.